hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel I just want to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed to my channel I reached over 1000 subscribers right now when I film this video I think I have 1005 I'm so so happy and and I'm actually waiting for my products to re arrive for my 1000 subscribers giveaways so stay on my channel for that I hope they will arrive soon so I can film that video but today we are going to do another review of this new Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes and I already filmed a video of this this is a Makeup Revolution Iconic Division and we have this Vitality Iconic Vitality that I did last time and today we are going to create a makeup look with this palette Iconic Fever and we are all going to do swatches but we are going to swatch the palette after the makeup look really I really really love this palette and I think these are my favorite from Makeup Revolution. I do I use them every day since I got these. So I'm in love. I think this one is supposed to be like Iconic Division is kind of like a dupe for Subculture palette. I don't have Subculture palette. I never bought it because I heard so many bad things about the palette, but I'm kind of interested to try it myself. And this one is supposed to be a dupe, I don't know. I know I, uh, I did watch a couple of videos and they look very similar. Now the one that I don't have right here with me to, uh, next to me is um, the other palette that's supposed to be like a dupe for Modern Renaissance. I don't know. And this one reminds me of that palette too, the Modern Renaissance palette. But this one that I did the makeup look with last time. Now, today, back to this one, Iconic Fever. We are going to use this, we are going to cre create a makeup look, and we are going to swatch all the shades. So if you want to see that, please keep on watching. I did already fill in my eyebrows, and I also have this day cream on my face today. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup after makeup look, because I want to try something new, a new makeup, uh, new, eye makeup look that I haven't done before on my channel so I'm kind of um, going outside my comfort zone and I love that I love to play with the eyeshadows I love to create and try new things so I'm very excited let's open this beauty here this is a very natural eyeshadow palette with a lot of warm shades um, looks like everyday eyeshadow palette I won't swatch them but I want to create something new there are some shimmery they have one two three four five shimmer shades and the rest of them are mattes so let's start I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush all, all over the eye brush this is Aura Flame Sweden no number but before we go into this palette I'm going to try this uh, wet and wild long lasting uh, eyeshadow primer I'm testing out a lot of eyeshadow primers and I want to try this one too for the first time and see how it's going to work on my oily eyelids. Oh, this is a thick primer. Set that primer with this powder. So let's go now in and start using these shades. I'm going to take this shade here in my crease to create a base for the rest of the eyeshadows. I found the other palette blend like a dream. I'm so impressed and they are not expensive, these palettes. I did order them from uh, Beauty Nine, 10 Beauty and then I'm going to take this brush from Zoeva this is number 228 crease brush and I'm going to take this uh, third shade in this palette this one and blend it in my crease like a tr transition shade I'm going to take the same brush and go into this shade here take that in my crease too but take it a little bit higher and I'm going to take it a little bit outside my eyelid I'm 
then I'm going to take this smaller crease brush this is uh, 231 from Zoeba and I'm going to take uh, let's see uh, this shade here this one in the middle And then I'm going to take this flat brush and take this dark, cause this dark matte shade here. I'm going to take this brush again without any eyeshadow and blend. So we are blending with this brush again without any eyeshadow and I promise it looks very weird right now and very messy here but we are going to clean that later. Um, continue blending until I'm happy. How it looks. So I'm going to take my concealer and my concealer brush and clean the eyelid a little bit. I'm going to do a cut crease. I have very hooded eyes, so to create a cut crease, it's it's a it's a challenge. And I'm going to take this light shimmer shade, the first one, with this brush. Without any setting spray or anything else, I'm not going to wet the brush. This is a beautiful shade. Look how pigmented this is. And I didn't wet the brush. This shade here with the same brush, this shimmery. They are very pigmented. I don't know if you can see on, on camera how intense this is without any setting spray. I mean, I'm, I know I said this like 100 times right now, but I can't get over how pigmented these shimmer shades are with a brush without any setting spray. And Often I have to use my finger. I'll always use my finger when I apply these kind of shades on my eyes Just because I found my f that my finger put Do a much better job, but right now the brush <laughs> Oh my god amazing Okay, and then with the same brush I Think I'm going to go into this Darkest shade down here this shimmery with the same brush maybe flip the side going to take this matte shade here, the second one, so I'm uh, 
now going to clean everything so I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm using this Stevie Laurent precision uh, tip liner Okay, I did my eyeliner now this one didn't turn out as good as this one but don't mind and now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and uh, I'll be right back to finish the lower lash line okay we are back now we are going to take this palette again I'm going to take this brush and go into uh, this third shade here and work that under my lower lash line I'm going to take this kind of small pointing brush and go into this beautiful orange shade down here Ooh, very powdery but beautiful shade And then I'm going to take this brush again and blend and then take that brush again and go into this dark shade and I'm going to bring that very close to my lower lash line but not the whole way and bind it together with the eyeliner I smudge it a little bit with the same brush and take uh, this shade here Take that shade again and go into my new highlighter from uh, Ofra. This is Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut. Now I did bought the other one. I don't have it here right now, but I was in love with it, so I had to buy this one too. This is a little bit, a little bit light for my skin tone. I think it's a little bit too light, but I like to mix it together with the other one. Look how beautiful that is. So I'm going to finish my makeup look with some uh, mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. So this is a final look. Now uh, for the for the highlighter I did mix these two together this is the glow goals and glazed donut from Nikki tutorials and Ofra collab and then I used this foundation contour and bronzer lipstick folk makeup revolution this is number nude now my lips are very dry so it kind of looks a little bit messy but I love this lipstick it's not really even today because my lips are too dry uh, this mascara and I think yes one more thing the blush this is rose champagne from wet and wild so this is the old product that I've used 
together to create this makeup look that I have on me today. I think this, this makeup look turned out beautifully. These shades are so nice. Now I can even imagine if I wet the brush before I applied these shadows on my eyes, they would be more intense. But I kind of wanted this makeup, this kind of soft but also a little bit shimmery transi transition from one color to the other. And I'm very impressed because I have very, very hooded eyes. And I did try to create a similar makeup look when I used other palettes. Never succeeded though because I have very hard time to apply my eyeliner because I have very hooded eyes and it looks terrible. Today I su succeeded and I'm very happy and proud of myself. So let's go over to the swatches of the eyeshadows and uh, yeah, we'll see how they swatch. My thoughts about this palette. I love it. I actually really love this orange shade and this light one and this dark one. I think they are my favorite shimmery in this palette and I kind of like these transition shades. I think the whole palette is beautiful. I love how this makeup look turned out. I'm just I'm so surprised that this the shades blended very nice together but they didn't blend in each other like creating a a whole other shade. Sometimes when I use a lot of eyeshadows, sh eyeshadows on my eyes, some eyeshadow can blend and beca become totally different and I don't always like that. So they do stay true to the color on the eyes and when you blend them, beautiful. I'm very surprised that this palette isn't expensive and they very and they succeeded to create this beautiful palette with 15 shades, very easy to blend, very pigmented, beautiful. I don't know, I, I can't say enough about these palettes. Now, I have all four of them. Here are the three that I already created. Wait, <laughs> I already created makeup look and I can't say which one is my favorite. I really can't say. I think uh, for a couple of days I've been using this uh, uh, Vitality a little bit more than the others just because it kind of worked with my outfit, with my clothes. So, but these are beautiful. Um, and today I have my favorite t-shirt on. That's me. Yeah, that was everything I had for you today. Please uh, subscribe if you already haven't. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to, to enter my giveaway. I will put the link down below and I can't wait until all the products for my next giveaway will arrive thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye